Hey, what up, my boys? Well, I'm out here gonna start doing some YouTube videos and just see how it goes. But here's the way. So here it is. The Acura RSX. It's a 04. But it has the 05, 06 conversion kit. Let's see. It makes a big difference. Bumper's kind of broken. Broke the tabs. I'm too low. So... We'll get that replaced and fixed some other time. And then got the bumper. Fitment's not too too good. See that big gap. The big I don't know how to fix that. Let's see. Just haven't bothered with it, but trying to fix this these problems. And then I got my DC2 type R wheels. Slotted and, and drilled rotors. And what else? Extreme like brake pads. Even when we're going in the car, we'll see this ugliness. How these RSX seats don't last that well. The leathers ain't that great. They have some rips here and there. It's kind of dirty. But here's my little radio, touchscreen radio, Bluetooth. And then here's my energy uh, quick release type S, of course. Uh, if I can put this back on, we'll go see the hood. Okay. Take this out because this thing broke. We'll have to take this out because it broke off a while back. Well, here it is. Got the Skunk 2 manifold, got the code air intake, hybrid silicone hoses, I got the K2 and uh, coilovers, it has sport engine mounts, and that's pretty much it, um, OBX header, you can see it down there. I need to change that out to a quality header, but I'm gonna go turbocharged, so I don't I'm not gonna mess with that. Probably go sidewinder, so stick around here, but that's that's later. Uh, and yeah. That's pretty much it. Previous owner. Had a tune by four bangers, supposedly used to be, used to run NOS, but I'm gonna go turbocharged instead. On my next video, I'm gonna try and uh, see if I can get under here, or place, where are they at, where is it at? Place the driver's side axle, cause it's, it's leaking from the axle seal. Axle seal is leaking, so I need to fix that. The oil pan, I don't know if you can see it, but oil pan has a leak too, so I'm gonna have to reseal it. Um, here's my uh, cold air in there. I don't know if I can get it right. Yeah, whatever. And then, because I'm low, I have to check that out, see if, uh, if that's giving me any. Suspension, uh, suspension problems. And yeah, that's the quick look of my car. I'm uh, planning to boost it, but maybe next year because I'm at like around 190,000 miles on the car. So I want to just swap out the motor, sell that one because it's a good motor. It's just I don't want to boost it. And um, you get uh, swap it swap it out go to a jdm motor swap out the engine 
And then that's for this year, and I'll get, you know, the stage four clutch and stuff. Um, with my boost, to go boost, I already have a, I already have some stuff, like I have the pigtails, I have some pigtails, and then, because I got the, I got pretty much all the, so I'm planning to boost probably next year because I'm going to have to replace my motor and stuff and that's going to you know, cost me cost me quite a bit to replace the K-Series with another K-Series motor, you know, I just want a solid motor so I can keep, bo keep uh, bo uh, running boost safely and stuff, but I got the supporting mods, I got these uh, Bosch, Hundred uh, thousand cc's injectors. Usually people use uh, dynamics injectors, but these were cheap. Like I I heard great things about these Bosch thousand cc injectors, so I'm gonna see how how these hang, how they perform. And I got the pigtails for them. Pigtails for them. So I got the. Got the thousand cc's injectors, and then I also got the Wabro fuel pump. So I got the injectors and fuel pump. I just need the turbo kit, but uh, but yeah, I didn't want to buy the turbo kit now and then just have it just laying in my garage because I'm still gonna have to swap out the motor anyways. So I'm gonna just dump my money in swapping the motor out and getting a better clutch. Stage 4 clutch, maybe stage 3, but I, I feel like I need stage 4 for the power goals I'm getting. I want like 350, 400, I can probably get, I can probably go up and more and blah blah, but I just want, I, it's my daily, so I want, you know, a streetable car with at least 3 to 400. But honestly, how my money's looking at, I'll probably swap out the motor with like, a motor like less than a hundred thousand miles on it or close to a hundred thousand and then I'll just I'll just fix the minor stuff because there's just some minor crap that needs to be fixed like my windshield's broken that shit's it's just it's, I don't know it's, it doesn't bug me too much when I drive but it's just one of those pet peeves and then maybe get a new bumper because, you know, as, as I showed you, those uh, bumper tabs, those bumper tabs are broken. I don't know. I, I want it to look sort of clean. So I might just spend my money on replacing the motor, getting it tuned, like around maybe a full bolt-on. So maybe around 220 if I'm lucky. That, that would get me. That would be fine for me until next year.